Hey you guys, it is I, your very own Amaru, and I'd like to welcome you to a very special episode of Food and the Single Guy. Before I continue, I just want to ask you to bear with me with this reflection on my glasses. There's a lot of sunlight today, so we're very happy for the sunlight, but for the glasses, it's not so very good. So please bear with me. Now, I will explain to you why this episode of Food and the Single Guy is so very special to me. Um, because what I'm about to cook for you today is something that I haven't had since I was about maybe 11 years old and I'm almost 60 so you can imagine I haven't had this in decades all right it is stewed green papaya with salted beef baby let me tell you it is something that you have to try okay now, like I said, I haven't had this in so many years, and we used to live in the country, like country country, not in the capital city of our country, but like deep in, you know, like in the interior of the country. And um, in the country, um, the people used to cook this very often, and my mom has cooked this a couple of times too, so I, I, I've always loved it. And you have to prepare this with coconut oil, like real coconut oil. You will see in the video what I'm talking about. So, we have green papayas here in Europe, and I have bought them a couple of times, but you know, they're green on the outside, and when you tap on them, they're, they're, they sound, it's like very hard, and then when you take them home, you slice them open, it's orange on the inside, because that is the stage of ripening of the fruit. But by the time it gets to Europe, from wherever they import the fruit, by the time the fruit gets to Europe, it's already in the stage of ripening. And if you're gonna prepare this dish, the papaya has to be green. You have to pluck it from the tree today and cook it today, or else your dish is going to fail, okay? Now, my cousin and his wife are visiting from overseas, from home, from my native country, the Republic of Suriname. And they asked me, they called me, they said, listen, um, we're gonna be visiting, and is there anything in particular from home that you would like? And I said, no, not really, I, I, I don't need anything. Nothing sweet, nothing delicious, no, 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 no. And then it occurred to me, I said, wait a minute, um, how about a green papaya? Like a freshly plucked, picked from the tree green papaya. Um, and then my cousin said, well, we can try that, but you know how anal they are at the airport? You can't bring anything. I have seen an episode of Border Control Australia or something, and this lady received an orange on the plane, and she got fined because she was importing produce into Australia that may contaminate the Australian orchards. Like, really? And that is, the, that is the level of lunacy and idiocy that we're living in in this day and age. So I said to my cousin, I said, listen, if it's possible to bring the green papaya, you know, put it in your suitcase, bring, if it's possible, fine. If it's not possible, if they're going to hassle you at the airport back home and at the airport here in Amsterdam, never mind, I'm going to be fine, I'll live. So then he said, listen. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slice the papaya open, I'm gonna remove the seeds, and then I'm gonna grate it. I said, oh no, oh nay nay, you're not gonna grate anything. Um, <laughs> I said, you can remove the seeds because the seeds, they're round and they may um, trigger the airport scanners thinking that it's drugs or something like that. I said, I don't want any of that. I said, but you are not going to peel the papaya no, you are not going to grade anything. And then even then, I sent him a little WhatsApp video. I said, listen, if you're going to grade said papaya, you need to use this grade, this grater, this blade on the grater. Not this one, not this one, but this one. And then I said, well, don't grade it because by the time it gets here, it's going to be soggy. And so by the grace of God, he managed to bring me two, not one, but two, um, whole papayas, which he had to slice in the middle, to, in half, to remove the seeds. But two whole papayas for me to prepare this dish. And I am so forever grateful to my cousin. I told him and his wife, I said, listen, a greater gift, you could not have given me a greater gift. So I'm very happy 
to share with you my recipe for grated stewed papaya with salted beef. The ingredients will be posted in the information box below the video. So without further ado, let us continue. Okay, you guys, so I have given you the entire papaya story at the intro of this video. And um, speaking of which, here we have the papaya. And as you can see, my cousin has wrapped it in a, or bagged it in a Ziploc bag. And um, let me remove the pieces of papaya from the bag and show you what the fruit looks like. Oh baby, this smells like home, really. So he brought me two papayas. So this is the first one, All right? See, isn't that beautiful? Oh yes it is. And like I said, he had to remove the seeds. And this is what the papaya should look like in case you're ever considering making this dish. The fruit has to be white. It has to be green, like not ripe. And that is the best um, state of the fruit to make this dish with. So, and this is the bigger one. Oh, baby. See? So what I'm gonna do next, I am going to remove the skin of the papaya, and then I'm going to grate the papaya with a grater, and um, then it is ready to be cooked. But before I do that, I have to wash the papaya, so let me go ahead and do that first. Okay, you guys, so I've washed the papaya. Next, I'm gonna peel it. So first, we're going to slice off the top, just like so. And then I am going to cut it in half, just like so. And then we're simply going to peel the papaya. Now let me go ahead and finish peeling the papaya. And then, of course, I'm gonna show you how to proceed. Okay, you guys, so now that I finished peeling the papaya, I'm using a spoon, a teaspoon, to remove the rest of the residue here in the seed pocket just like so much like you would a cucumber or a watermelon or a pumpkin for that matter all right all right one more time just like so Now I have noticed that whenever I'm using green ingredients or white ingredients, the camera has a tendency to go out of focus. So please bear with me. I hope that doesn't happen this time around, but you know, you'll never know until you start editing <laughs> and you notice that your picture is out of focus. I hate when that happens. So bear with me, you guys. See, you have this sort of thing. This has to come off. This has to come out, right? You don't want to put this in your, uh, in your dish. You don't want to cook that. There we go. So let me go ahead and finish doing this. And then it is time to start grating the papaya on the grater, all right? Okay, you guys, so now it's time to grate the papaya, and this is my grater, and we're going to use these blades. We're going to use this side of the grater to grate the papaya with. Not this one because it's too fine. Not this one because we're not making pate. Not this one because we're not slicing cheese. No, we're going to use this side of the blade, all right, of the grater. All right, you guys, so I am done grating the papaya. Let me show you what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Nice little strips. I'm gonna come in a little closer so you can have, so you can get a close up of the grated papaya. I hope that you can see it. All right. Now, don't you dare laugh at my disheveled looking spatula, okay? Because I'm sure each and every one of you has kitchen utensils that you simply cannot part with, okay? That is my spatula. I cannot part with it. I love it. So, 
As you can see, it is very dry. It, it's not wet. It is not moist at all. And that is because when I uh, peeled the papaya, after that, when I removed the gunk in the middle of the seed pod, I, I haven't washed the, the, the pieces of papaya after that. If you do that, it will generate a lot of water. Don't do that. All right? Because when we're going to cook this, it is going to generate some water as it is. So now it is time to uh, do the actual cooking. Okay, you guys, so next what I'm going to do is something that you've seen plenty of times here on the channel. I am going to turn on my cooker hood. That's going to generate a lot of noise, so bear with me. I'm going to speak clearly, but as I always tell you, if it doesn't go through, I'm going to add subtitles just for your convenience. And the keen observer of Food and the Single Guy may recognize this little jar, and this is my homemade coconut oil. If you're interested in that recipe, one of the episodes is um, right here on the channel, so go ahead and check it out. Now, this dish has to be made with coconut oil, okay? Now, the key to get the best out of the coconut oil is to make it steam very well. You need to burn the oil, right? That's what we're gonna do. So let me add the coconut oil to my pot, and I'm gonna turn up the flame and I'm going to turn on my cooker hood there we go so as you can see there's a lot of steam coming from the oil this is when you add the onions and the garlic just like so give it a nice stir Ooh, honey when I tell you it smells delicious my word I'm gonna add some black pepper now so my onion and my garlic are glazing nicely as soon as they take on some color, we're gonna add the tomato. There we go. And of course, we're gonna give it a good stir yet again. So after about a minute, we're gonna add the salted beef and the scotch bonnet pepper. And I've shown you in plenty of videos how to tenderize salted beef. So in the interest of time, I omitted that from this video. So next we're going to turn down the flame a little bit. We're going to cover the pot and we're going to allow this to simmer for three to five minutes. Okay you guys, so it's been about three minutes. Let's have a look at our pot. baby the smell is tremendous this is looking good so next we're gonna add the grated papaya honey let me tell you I'm not using all of it as you can see because it's too much. Let's give this a stir. Ooh, honey. Baby, when I tell you, this brings back memories. Yeah, baby. Oh. So you're gonna give this a regular stir on high heat do not cover the pan because it will generate a lot of water, a lot of moisture. We're not making soup, so don't cover the pan, all right? All right. Okay, you guys, now as we do in my country, I am now going to season my food with a chicken stock cube. Just like so. 
course, we're going to give it a good stir. So there we have it, you guys. My green papaya with salted beef is ready to be served. Now let us move on to the final presentation because, boo-boo, I am hungry. Yes, baby. Now, you guys, before we move on to the final presentation, I mentioned earlier in the video that the amount of grated papaya that I ended up with was too much for the amount of salted beef that I had. I only purchased a kilogram of salted beef, and had I cooked all of the um, papaya with the salted beef, it would have been too much papaya and not enough meat. So what I did was I cooked half of the papaya with the salted beef and then it occurred to me I still have some smoked chicken in the freezer. So I prepared the other half of the green papaya with the smoked chicken. Baby, you have no idea. Honey, let me tell you, I have plenty of food to last me until Christmas. Ugh. Oh. Let me tell you, it, it, the whole house still smells of deliciousness. Now let us move on to the final presentation because I'm sure you're just dying to find out what this dish looks like when it's all presented and stuff. Now speaking of the final presentation, get a load of these beautiful pictures. Doesn't that look gorgeous? And baby, let me tell you, that coconut oil is really something else. If you are going to prepare this dish, you need to invest in a little bit of coconut oil. Get a load of that scotch bonnet pepper, get a load of that smoked chicken and that salted beef. And let's not forget about the pickles, you guys, because this dish would be nothing without the pickles, okay? Let me tell you. These pickles were made and sent to me by my favorite aunt, my cousin who brought me the papaya. His mom is my favorite aunt, so she sent me these pickles. And baby, let me tell you, they are out of this world. Now, if you decide to try to make this dish yourself, let me know how it turned out because I'm always interested in hearing from you. In the meantime, do be well, take care, happy cooking, happy eating, and allow me to say thank you once again to my cousin and his wife. I love you. And until we meet again, have a good one, you guys. Bye.